Dad? Dad? Are you there? Can you hear me? What is this place? It's a school I attended before Judgment Day. Why are we here? <sighs> you know why. Dad, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, come on. It's your birthday, of course it matters. Besides, you're the one always saying that you're old enough to scavenge. Well, today, you actually are. But we're not even supposed to be here. The Resistance said Skynet was around here. <clears throat> I wouldn't take everything John Connor says <clears throat> as gospel. <clears throat> What do you have against him? I used to be a real asshole. We went to school together. This school, actually. You've met John Connor? I didn't know him personally. But everybody knew about him. I guess this was just one of the schools he got expelled from. I doubt he'd remember it. Okay, it looks safe. You can follow me. You're already on your way here, aren't you? I don't need you to babysit me, Dad. Just get yourself over here. I need your help. Hey, Dad. I found some chemicals. You have to dream bigger, kid. Especially today. I'm still taking them. Oh, there you are. Now, let's start searching this place. What are we even looking for? A time capsule. What's a time capsule? Well, it's a, a box filled with letters, pictures, and other things that we buried when I was a student here. Why did you bury it? To preserve a piece of our lives, I guess. Since it's been in the ground this whole time, I'm hoping that it survived Judgment Day. If I'd known that the world would end just a couple of years later, I would have hidden something more useful in there. And again, no one could have predicted that. What would you have hidden? I don't know. Beer or something? Here lies history. I think I found it. Stand back. You know, back in my day, parents used to say that they wanted to give their children more than they had growing since that won't be possible for you, I'd like you to have at least a taste of what I had. Okay, let's see what we've got. Uh, here's something? Really? A machine? Yeah. We've got enough of those around here, don't we? <laughs> okay, what else is in there? Some baseball cards... Take Dad, I I think we should go. I really don't need anything. How about this? Huh. I know it's not much. Happy birthday, Jacob. That's cool. Thanks, Dad. Ah, oh, look at this. That's a letter I wrote to myself. What does it say? Future Frank. That's me. If you don't teach your son to mind his own business, I'm going to be very disappointed with ha, you. Ha ha. <laughs> very funny. I'll hang on to it for later. Fine. Let's just go. It's not safe here. Wait. There's something else here. Now this one says that it needs to be hand-delivered. Oh, let's see what's so important. Dad, we don't have time for this. And it's not for you. I doubt anyone's waiting for it. How would you like it if a stranger read your letter? Are you serious? I'm just trying to follow your rules. You know what? It's your birthday. I won't open it unless we find the proper recipient. It'll be our little project. I promise. <gasps> 
Come here. Stay low. As soon as it comes closer, make a run for it, all right? Now go! Sound too good. Don't worry about me. Get out of here. Understand? But Dad. I said get out of here. Get down into the sewers. I'll meet you there soon. Dad?
safe. Do you hear me? If you can hear me, please let me know. Where are you? Jacob! You're, you're hurt. They're coming. We need to go. We're gonna be all right. Come on. Back! Move back! Dad! Jacob! Run! <laughs> Sleeping on the job, I see. What? Can't say that it never happened to me. Oh, there they are. I knew I'd find them here. Are you okay? You were talking in your sleep. Just a bad dream. Baron's looking for you. We've got visitors that she wants you to meet. Visitors? A tech comm unit. At least what's left of it. Just a heads up. Something's going on. Everyone's walking around nervous. Thanks. I appreciate you taking us in, Commander. I was sorry to hear about your team. Fucking ambush. I'll write it in the report. That can wait. New orders have come in for you. Excuse me? You're moving out right away. We just lost three men. Me and Pharaoh need some time to recuperate. I'm afraid that's not possible. Northridge Outpost has gone silent. You need to go there, find out what happened, and... and what? Check if their radio's on? You know that Skynet's been jamming our signal. That may be true, but you'll still need to see to this personally. What the hell's going on, Baron? Look, it doesn't make sense to me either. I could have sent a team of my own. They'd already be there, and we would know what went wrong. So? Why didn't you? Because the order's coming directly from John Connor. He insisted it be you. Okay. So what's the plan? Go to Northridge, find out what happened. Then escort the people there back to safety. Their withdrawal is long overdue. Where it is that you captured a new Terminator model. That's right. An infiltration unit. Our top scientist is running an analysis on it as we speak. Does that have anything to do with this mission? The last we heard from Northridge was that they liberated a group of scavengers. So that's certainly a possibility. I see. Jacob Rivers here helped us capture the new model. He'll be joining you, along with Evans, as per Connor's request. Okay, Rivers. So you can tell an infiltrator from one of us. What else can you do? Thank you. 
So you're a marksman? Good. We need sharp eyes out there. Alright. Check the supply crate and gather your equipment. Looks like we're moving out soon. Get ready. We got a long drive ahead of us. Any questions before we leave, Rivers? Why do you think John Connor selected us for this mission? He must have his reasons. He always does. To be perfectly honest, I learned a long time ago not to ask too many questions. Why? He's got this uncanny ability of putting the right people in the right places at the right time. That's a great skill to have when you're the commander of the entire Resistance. So when John Connor vouches for you, I already know you'll do your job well. What do you think about this mission? In normal circumstances, I would say that the mission is straightforward. But I would have appreciated some advance warning. But these are not normal circumstances. Nothing is normal when Connor's involved. You're gonna learn that very soon. What do you think about the team? Corporal Farrow's a good fighter. I've been working with her for years. You and Evans? I'll wait until I know you better. But I'll postpone the introductions till we're on the road. I'm ready. So, how did it go? I'm joining Kyle Reese. We're moving out right away. I thought that was him. So what's he like? He seems to have a lot of faith in John Connor. Don't you? I mean, he is the leader of the Resistance. Wait, is there something that I should know? What were you looking for back there? Just some toys. Erin wants to prep a field hospital for the children, so she asked me to grab whatever I can. She's hoping to bring some normalcy to the shelter. Ever since they brought that machine in, everyone's been on edge. Why do you ask? And that toy soldier looked familiar. Do you want me to put it aside so that other kids don't play with it while you're out? I can do that. Just say the word. So, what's on your mind? Yeah. I wanted to ask you. You trust those guys, right? You stood face to face with that Terminator. So you'd recognize if something was wrong? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be putting any ideas in your head. It's the atmosphere around here lately. I think it's getting to me, too. They're waiting for me. Take care, Jacob. Rivers, a word with you. Seems like you've been appointed a special task, alongside Kyle Reese, no less. Just so you know, regardless of what happens, there's always a place for you here. There's something wrong. Every once in a while, an assignment comes along that nothing can prepare you for. I fear that this might be such an assignment. I hope that Connor made a wise decision selecting you for this mission. Besides, I need all the bodies I can get here. Any other questions? Uh, what's the status on that second generation plasma rifle? Alvin is still working on it. So, there's a chance he'll have that gun ready before my return. I wouldn't hold your breath. Our professor doesn't have a stellar record when it comes to reprogramming Skynet technology. We're still looking for a spider scout he lost somewhere in the shelter. Yeah, what if he can't hack that plasma? I don't even want to think about the alternative at this point. What can you tell me about Kyle Reese? He's Connor's right-hand man. Can't blame him for wanting to keep Reese close. He's a great soldier, completely devoted to the cause. Did you serve together? Yes, we did. We used to serve under Perry. Back then, we were naive enough to think that T-600 rubbers were as bad as things could get. <laughs> Good times. After that, I became the field commander, and he joined the North Division. Now we only catch each other between missions. He's too busy doing special tasks for Connor. Who's Evans? I've never seen him before. He joined us not too long ago. 
He's a survivor from another division, just like you. A sharpshooter. That's all I know, since he doesn't talk much. Which I appreciate. Can we trust him? He could ask me the same question about you. If you're concerned, you can always take it up with Connor. He appointed him to this mission in the first place. Good luck, soldier. We're heading out already. What the fuck? All set? Rivers, open the gate. We're moving out. We're approaching Northridge. All right. It's a good time to bring everyone up to speed. This is a rescue mission, as simple as it gets. We go in, secure the perimeter, and prepare the evacuation. I don't want anyone to draw Skynet's attention. We're not prepared for that. We keep our heads down and evacuate those people to safety. What if there's no one to evacuate? Care to elaborate, Corporal? Outposts don't stay silent for that long. If no one's been reporting in, I'd expect to find the remains of a massacre, sir. I think introductions are in order. The eternal optimist sitting next to me is Corporal Farrow, an explosive specialist. Sergeant Rivers and I have already been introduced. What about you, Evans? What's your story? I've read your file. You're the sole survivor from the 113th, right? 113th? heard about it. How'd you manage to escape? Supposedly he took down a T-800 with his bare hands. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. Is it true? Did John Connor select us for this assignment? That's right. I'd like to meet him. Complete the mission and you just might. We're getting close. Get ready. Northridge is up ahead. Evans, give us the sit rep. No signs of any resistance soldiers at the gate. <sighs> Not good. 3T600 approaching 1 o'clock. T600? They're still around? Let's not get sloppy. We don't know what's behind that gate. This is a tech comm mission. I want us to move fast. I want us to be efficient. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's clear the area. Evans, you want to start us off? Affirmative. Everyone on me! Target acquired. Target down. Me. Drones. I see them. Evans, container. Target quiet. First fire. Running low on ammo. Taking it down. Target down. Open 
opening the gate. More hostiles inside. Keep your heads down. Where the hell is everyone? It's <laughs> not River. Are you positioned now? On my way. You stay there and watch for reinforcements. Understood. This way! Alright, everyone get ready. <clears throat> Two in front! Stay frosty. We don't want to shoot friendlies. If there are any friendlies left alive, the doors to the garage are wide open. What the fuck is going on, Sergeant? Where is everyone? Let's clear the area first. We'll figure it out later. Give them hell! Third fire! Enemies coming from the left! in a while. There they are! Down. 
That's the last one. Evans, how's it looking on your side? That's all of them. Then secure the perimeter. What do we do now? We need to report this. Find a radio station and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. No bodies? This doesn't make any sense. radio station here. Sergeant, I found a radio station upstairs. I understand you're not happy with the situation, but for now you'll have to stay put. At least until I discuss your next move with Connor. Is that clear? Yes, Commander. Awaiting further instructions. Over and out. All right. Looks like we're turning in for the night. I understand that not everything went as planned today. There's still a lot of unanswered questions here. But for now, get some rest. Tomorrow will be when the real work starts. Yes, sir. Rivers, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you about your performance today. Sir. Each of us has been selected for this mission because we all have something to contribute. When we don't do our part, people die. That's what happened during my previous assignment. So I need you to be more focused. Is that understood, Rivers? Yes, sir. Sarge, any new orders from HQ? Not yet. For now, we're on our own. I have Pharaoh searching for any intel we may have missed yesterday. We'll see what comes up. What do we know so far, sir? I've been analyzing the intel that we have. I've got some theories, but nothing concrete. I'm curious to hear what you think happened here. Where do you think those people went? Maybe those T-600s took the people here by surprise and put them on transporters. And uh, what we fought yesterday was just a patrol left to make sure they got everyone. I agree. Their presence here doesn't fit this puzzle. 
But ultimately, the T-600 is a discontinued series. If Skynet wanted to abduct everyone without a trace, why send an outdated model? It's not impossible that an old Skynet army just wandered in here after everyone had left. As you can see, there's a lot to unpack here and questions keep piling up. At this point, we just have to keep our eyes open. Speaking of which, do you mind checking on Pharaoh? I'm waiting for a status report from her. Yes, sir. 